Formula One has a huge TV audience. Is it good that you think something like Le Mans gets increased visibility through things like this? Absolutely, yes. Uh, it's great that uh, Le Mans has increased visibility because being a sports car racer myself, I would like it if more people were interested in sports car racing. Uh, and the number of visitors that Le Mans attracts every year is phenomenal. So um, it's, it's really, really key racing and, and very great. It's, it's excellent to watch. And I think people don't realise how many people are in the crowd at Le Mans. It was over, was over 250,000, I think, this year. 250,000 Brits went to Le Mans. I think there's about 500,000 people there. Uh, and, and a lot of people in the UK think that F1 is the ultimate and it is if you're a formula racer a single seater racer but for myself as a sports car racer Le Mans is the ultimate uh, which is why I want to race there in 2016 and how far are those plans getting Oh, they're doing very well. I launched Project Le Mans last year, uh, which is my four-year plan to competing at Le Mans. So uh, we're at the halfway point now, and this year I had experience in faster cars, so I drove um, a British touring car and a GT3 spec Nissan GTR, and I also competed in longer races, so I've got experience now with sitting in the car for longer, uh, because before that I was doing 20-minute sprint races, which is obviously a lot different to endurance racing. And from a film point of view, how difficult do you think it is? Because driving a car is very much about the smell and the vibration and the noise. How do you think that conveys to a cinema audience? I don't think you're ever going to really achieve the same level of actually being in the car yourself. I mean, I remember when I watched Rush and uh, the, the tannoy in the paddock, it says, attention paddock, attention paddock, and then it says your championship that you're in, drivers, you know, you have to make your way to the assembly area. And as a driver, I immediately felt my stomach go because that's the excitement, you're just about to go racing. Um, but watching a film uh, which is as nitty gritty as Journey to Le Mans is probably the closest that a spectator is going to get to what it actually feels like to be part of that team. For people who just follow F1 on TV and that's the closest they get to a racing track, why, why should they come and see this film and also why should they go to their nearest racing track? The reason why they should watch this film is because this film is a nitty gritty film about the team and you get to see almost everything. And why they should go to their local motor racing circuit is because they will see so much more than the edited perfection that you see on the television. And I'm not saying they don't include the things that go wrong, uh, because obviously they do, but I think the smell, the atmosphere, the temperature changes, um, all of these things, the weather changing, that affects the tyre choice, the tyre pressure choice, um, tactics, there, there's so much involved in motor racing and I don't think you can fully grasp that from your sofa as much as it's wonderful to be able to watch everything from the comfort of your own home. If you get to your local motor racing circuit it's so much more exciting. Thank you so much, hope you enjoy the premiere. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.